In this video, my daughters. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. And what's your name? Network Pig. Network Pig are going to build their own gaming slash hacking computers. And whoever can build a computer the fastest will win 10,000 Robux because that's the only currency they care about. In second place is... Are you sure you guys don't want $10,000? Yeah, I just want Robux. Yeah, I, I just want Robux. Robux. Okay. Get out of here. Now, they didn't know anything about building computers, so I had to teach them, and it was frustrating. Sit down, guys. Just stop, mess, stop messing my stuff, guys. You're driving me nuts. Sit down, Addy. Chloe, honey, I'm gonna whoop your little butt if you do that again. Sit up, we're on camera, baby. Okay, look at me. Addy, sit down. Chloe, stop touching anything close. Like this? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> it was so stinking hard. Oh my god. And we had a bit of trouble finding some parts, so we had to steal them. But by the end, they will be computer building experts. And one of them will be 10,000 Robux richer. Good job, honey. You won. Mm. And I hope you learned something too, because we will be talking about, hey, how do you build a computer and what are the parts that make up a computer? It's super educational, so buckle your seatbelts, get ready, get some coffee going. Now, real quick, before you watch me slowly slip into madness, let me tell you about our sponsor of today's video, Oracle. Today is Pi Day, if you're watching this on March 14th. And if you are, you're in luck because Oracle is hosting Pi Day 2022. This is a free event that you don't want to miss. From full stack developer content to DevOps and analytics, this event features hands-on labs and demos, which take unexpected aspects of culture and combine them with the bleeding edge languages and frameworks. Or maybe AI and ML is your thing. You know, artificial intelligence and machine learning. We got you covered with demos that use real NBA data to predict a team's success based on how often they shoot three-point shots. Gaming also plays a huge role on Pi Day. If you're down to attend talks about Unreal Engine and Kubernetes, or creating your own gaming dashboard, you're a shoe in for Pi Day. Which honestly sounds pretty stinking cool. Check that out. And with 24 hours of content, there will also be sessions in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. You can check the full agenda here at 314pyday.com, hashtag agenda. And if you want to register because you should register, check out 314pyday.com forward slash registration. All those links are below. Check it out. Also, bonus. All attendees receive a Pi Day 2022 swag kit. I, I freaking love swag. <laughs> I just do. And the first 500 participants to sign up for a free tier trial account for OCI get a bonus gift. What is that bonus gift? I don't know. You gotta sign up. You gotta find out. So thanks again to Oracle for sponsoring this video. And honestly, what are you waiting for? Get signed up. I'm actually gonna register right now because I want to check this out. <laughs> this is probably the best decision you'll make today. Probably. I love that. Submit. <laughs> and no joke, that logo is kind of scary and kind of cool. I'm digging it. I want a shirt with that on it. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't notice, that was free. So yeah, just, just do it. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but everything in IT requires coffee. So that's where our journey starts. I don't like coffee. We are on our way to Micro Center. We're going to build two gaming PCs for my darling daughters back here. But they're not only for gaming, they're going to be using them for learning. Uh, they're going to learn Linux. They're going to learn Python. And they're going to learn how to hack. So before we hit our favorite computer store, we pop into a coffee shop for some much needed PC building fuel. If you want to learn Python, you have to drink coffee. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. My daughters are probably still too young for coffee, but hey, I didn't make the rules. Hot, hot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's too, it's, I just smell Would you, it. Come on, just, try the dang coffee. <laughs> she won't try the coffee. I tried it, she has to try it. You did it last time when you were younger. Aren't you bigger and braver now? Good. Yeah, I got one! Now that we're fueled up, time to head to our favorite computer store, Micro Center. Now, full disclaimer, we hit a pretty big roadblock, and we ended up having to go steal something from Walmart. Walmart, you wouldn't think that, right? But out of all places, they have exactly what we need right now. Let's go get it. We'll talk about that here in a moment. I want a little crazy on the build, more than two little girls who only want to play Roblox need. So for all you nerds who want to know, here's what we got. Motherboard, Gigabyte Aorus X570 Elite. Also, MicroStar International, MPG, X570 Gaming Edge, blah, blah, Wi-Fi thing. CPU, AMD Ryzen 5 3600. It's the brain. Brain. It's your computer's brain. Yeah. <laughs> RAM, way too much. 32 gigs, G Skill tried it. 3200 megahertz. Hard drive, one terabyte NVMe SSD and a two terabyte HDD. A 750 watt power supply. And finally, the case, which we had to customize with spray paint. But there's one thing we're missing. One thing we cannot get right now. I can't find anywhere. Micro Center, Amazon, Newegg, nowhere. A GPU. I cannot find a graphics card. At this point, I honestly just wanted to give up. So, y'all were pretty bummed about that, right? Mm -hmm. I was already so tired from trying to get these kids to be excited about building a PC. I couldn't find all the parts. I, I just couldn't do it anymore. But one look at those sad little faces. Those sad little faces who wanted to play Roblox and learn hacking and Linux and Python. 
I knew I needed to persist. I had to find a GPU and finish this build. So I resorted to crime. This is where Walmart comes in. What? Yeah, I know, it sounds weird. While Walmart doesn't sell GPUs, they do sell pre-built computers. Now we got one of these. Pre-built gaming computers that have GPUs inside. So we snuck into Walmart and stealthily grabbed a GPU from these pre-built computers. No, I'm just kidding. We bought the entire computer. Two of them, actually. Stealing is bad, kids, don't steal. We bought two entire gaming computers just for the GPU inside. And honestly, they weren't that great but they were all we could find. They were a couple of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Supers, which are okay, but nothing to like get excited about. I wanted more for my daughters, but it's all I could give them. Now you might ask, why not just use the pre-built gaming machine and return all the parts to Micro Center? And I would say, well, stop asking dumb questions. So now we have all of our parts, now time to build it. But the only problem is that these kids have no idea how to build a computer or even what most of these parts are for. So I had to teach them. It was a grueling process, took over three days, a ton of snack breaks, a ton of frustration, a little bit of yelling, not too much. Millie, get upstairs and watch the TV. Millie, dad gum it. I almost died. Now the first thing you want to do when you build a computer is stage the build, meaning you build the computer outside of its case to make sure all the parts actually work. Now one of the first headaches I ran into with my kids was that they kept touching their clothes and getting all staticky and then touching the parts, which static can kill electronics. So please, if you plan to build a computer with your kids or build a computer at all, um, make sure you get an anti-static or ESD wrist strap that's properly grounded and that'll protect you from killing your stuff. Now first we'll start with our motherboard. What is that? What's the motherboard? A motherboard is the mother of everything. No, a motherboard is one of those things that hold all of, all of the like RAM, uh, CPU, the brain. That's right. Very good. She's right. It's the mother of everything. And Addie's also right. It's where we plug in all of our stuff. Now time for the CPU or the central processing unit. The CPU is literally the brain of the computer. The what's, CPU, it, what's it stand for? The brain the, of the computer and it's central, central processing, processing unit. unit. They got you it. You copied me. No, I didn't. I already knew. <laughs> Big fat black face. That's not very nice. And just like humans, the more powerful your brain is, the more powerful your computer will be. So make sure you get a good one. You don't want a dumb computer. Where you put your brain is very important and how you put it in there is very important. Now installing the CPU can be a bit scary, a bit dangerous, because if you install it wrong, you could ruin your CPU, one of the most expensive parts of your computer. Soil it! So be careful as you take it out. Don't touch the bottom where all the little circuits are. Don't touch that. And then on your motherboard, you'll see the socket where the CPU needs to go and lay down. There will be a little lever, a little arm that you'll need to release to open it up. So go ahead and open that and get ready to place your CPU in its socket. But hold up, hold up, this is important. Match up the arrow on the CPU at the very corner with the arrow in the socket. This will tell you that you're installing it in the right direction. Now don't force it, just gently place it. Then use the arm on the CPU socket to lock it into place and then celebrate. Yes! You did it! Yeah! RAM or random access memory. Can you spit on it? Can you spit on it? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> No, you can't spit on it. RAM is like your computer's short-term memory. And yeah, your computer is more like you than you think. It can forget stuff if it wants to. RAM is really fast storage for the stuff you're working on right this second. When you open up a browser like Google Chrome. One thousand tab. Or Photoshop or Slack or Discord or any kind of video game, it's loaded into RAM. So the CPU and GPU can access it faster and make your computer go burr. Now the more RAM you have, the more stuff you can do at one time. Two terabytes of RAM. Like right now, as I'm recording this voiceover, I got a ton of stuff going on. Between browsers and video editing software, I'm using almost 20 gigs of RAM. But I'm okay because I have a ridiculous amount of RAM, 64 gigs. And that's why I bought my daughter's 32 gigs of RAM. You don't want to skimp on RAM. So let's install these suckers. They come in sticks called DIMMs. And you'll install these sticks into slots on your motherboard that look kind of like this. Now the order you install them is kind of important. And you'll want to refer to your motherboard manual to see how you should do it. If you do it right, it'll go faster. If you do it wrong, not a big deal. Also pay attention to the notch on your RAM stick and make sure that little notch lines up with the notch on the slot before you start brute forcing the install and break everything. And then pop those hinges and you're good to go. Now time for storage our hard drives, where we put our stuff, our pictures, our videos. Our main piece of storage is NVMe Flash. It's an SSD that will go into the M2 slot on our motherboard. Now these things are crazy, they're super small and wicked fast, but they're kind of expensive. It's not where we'll store our big bulky files. It's where we'll install our operating system and put our important applications like video games. So we'll find that M2 slot on our motherboard and install them. It looks something like this. Now the girls had a bit of trouble screwing them in, so I gave them a bit of help, but they did a pretty good job. Now for our GPU, the biggest headache in this build. I mean, only finding them was the headache. 
Now we have them, and installing a GPU is really easy. Well, I take that back. We first have to steal the GPU from the gaming machines we bought. And once we've liberated them from their slower prison shell, <laughs> prison shell. We can place them into one of the PCIe slots on our motherboard. Now at this point, I kind of lost my daughters. They were exhausted, they were hungry. I'm very hungry. But seriously, they worked on it for a while and I was super proud of them. And I totally understand them needing a break. Now I know what you're thinking, hey, they missed a vital part. They didn't install the CPU cooler. Don't worry, they'll get a chance to demonstrate their skills during the competition, so stay tuned for that. And finally, we'll plug all of our stuff into our PSU, our power supply unit. It's the thing that makes sure all the parts of your computer get all the power they need. And this thing looks crazy. It's got a lot of cords and you're kind of going to plug the sucker into everything. So this is what's going to power your computer. We're going to plug that part into the wall. I smell smoke. You don't smell nothing. You're just being crazy. Thank you, Daddy, for calling me crazy. I was waiting for you to say that. Now at this point, we have a small victory. We've successfully put all the parts together. And fingers crossed, if we turn that computer on, it should work. And the goal here is to see our computer post, or basically get to the bio screen, kind of the getting started screen. And if it does that, that means we were successful. But I was so scared. I was hoping nothing went wrong because we'd gone through blood, sweat, and tears so far putting all this together. And the girls were pretty much done. Like if this didn't work, this whole project was just a bust. So we plugged in our power supply, turned on the power switch, and then got super bummed and sad until we realized that you have to actually turn it on, but there was no power button. So we had to consult our motherboard manual and we figured out that if you put a screwdriver between two little jumpers on the motherboard, it would act like a power switch and turn the computer on. And when we did that, yes, victory, thankfully, we posted on the first try. It was glorious. All your parts are actually working. You excited? Yeah. yeah. Say I just posted. I just posted. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Smile. Look at, look at the camera and smile. Look at the camera and smile. Look at the camera. Look at the camera and smile. My camera right here on my phone. Smile. <laughs> but our celebration was short-lived when I told them we had to disassemble the entire build and build it again inside the case. But at last, we finished. The build is done. The computers look amazing with their custom spray paint job. Now, no joke. This took about three days. And we built this in January, 2021. That's how long it took me to make this video and get over that, that trauma. Even now, I'm like, that was hard. But anyways, we finished the build. They went and took a nap and I didn't want to bother them anymore. So I went ahead and installed Windows, their operating system on it for them. And when they woke up from their nap, they were finally able to play Roblox on their new gaming machines. It was all they could dream up. It was amazing. Their first gaming machines and it opened up a whole new world for them. And yeah, I'm exhausted. I, I'm not doing this again, but uh, <laughs> I do have three other daughters. So I'm, I'm probably going to do it again three more times. Now fun's over, time to put their skills to the test. It is time for the computer building competition. Here are the rules. They must assemble the parts of a computer to perfection, placing the CPU, applying thermal paste, installing the CPU fan, installing the RAM, the hard drive, the GPU, and whoever can do it the fastest will win 10,000 Robux. The stakes are high, let's begin. I'm pushing it down because they don't have the strength to do it. Did it. Wait, Daddy, is the time still on? Yes. Double check the work. I don't know how to double check it. You never taught me that. Yeah, With everything's all your components. plugged in. Everything? Got that, yeah. You sure? Um. Time. All right. I think Chloe's gonna take longer. You think so? Yeah. You talking smack already, girl? <laughs> all right, let's inspect. This is good. I saw you got the arrow right, so the arrow's good. CPU power is snug. Motherboard power is good. CPU power is good. Motherboard power. Ooh, not clicked all the way in. Uh oh. What? You missed one. Too late. So that's. I'm gonna deduct five sec or add five seconds to that. Actually, no. You know what? Hold on. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Hey, it's only five seconds. Not a big deal. It's only five seconds. RAM is good. Perfect score. Well, hold on. Let me make sure it's good. How many minutes is Daddy? Perfect, Daddy. Right here. Yeah! Hey, everyone give a round of applause! Comment! <laughs> hey, you did great! Alright, so first I want to say that both of you did a tremendous job. Just amazing. I'm so impressed with you guys. So in second place, and the winner of 5,000 Robux, so you'll still win 5,000. 
And second place is Addy. With a time of seven minutes and 12 seconds. Yeah, you did great, honey. <laughs> I did. Oh, I feel bad. And of course your time was five minutes, 15 seconds. Good job, honey. You won. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> okay, let's go buy the Robux. <laughs> okay, they, they don't want to wait. This process was tiring and frustrating and at times infuriating, but I would do it again. I'm, I'm going to do it again for my next three daughters because I think anyone who wants to get started in IT needs to build a computer. You learn so much from the process, it's crazy. And it's also kind of stinking fun. And by the end of it, you have a, <laughs> you have a gaming machine. And also, hey, if you got kids, Build one with your kids. Yeah, it's gonna be frustrating and hard, but it's rewarding. And my kids now have a gaming machine that they do school on and they, they learn hacking and Linux and Python. And they also know how a PC runs, all the parts that are involved and how to assemble them. Totally worth it. So anyways, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Should I do more stuff like this? It might take some years off my life, but you know, it's worth it for the views. And also, hey, I wanna hear about you doing the same thing with your kids or just you doing it yourself. Comment below, I wanna hear those stories. And also, let's make sure you hack YouTube today. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have to hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. Yeah, and also, again, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, Oracle, and their Pi Day 2022. If you haven't signed up, then well, hurry up and do it right now. If it's past March 14th, 2022, then you dang missed it, but they might have some replays, so go check it out. Oh, and also, hey, where are you going? If you wanna watch more of the stuff I do, YouTube thinks you'll like this video right here. So you should listen to YouTube, because I, I think they know you better than you know you. That's probably true.